Welcome everyone, I recently had this issue where I saw the Apple logo, then it would shut off, then it would go back on, then it would do like a little bit of progress, then shut off, then it would go all the way through, and it would bring me to this um, this recovery page, and it said you needed to be on Wi-Fi, I would connect to Wi-Fi, and then I'd tap on try again, and then the loop would continue, even though I connected to Wi-Fi, it would just be stuck in this constant loop. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix a boot loop on your macOS computer, whether it's that exact, what I just told you, or you have the Apple logo and it's stuck at like the middle of progress and it never finishes to boot up your device. So the first step is you need to find the touch ID button or the power button and hold it down until you see a black screen. So I'm gonna hold that down and you might be like, well, you aren't fixing this issue like. Well, I'm gonna show you what I did to fix it personally on the uh, 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch. So once screen is black, everything is powered off, you're going to need to hold a power button for two seconds, one, two, and then hold command and R. You'll hear the, um, the uh, Apple logo chime, and it's going to bring us into um, this mode. So it isn't gonna boot you up into stock macOS. So um, if you think it is, then it isn't. This mode is, is pretty darn good. So. If you have the issue with the uh, Apple logo, um, make sure you obviously you're holding Command and R down until it fully boots up. But if you have the issue with the uh, Apple logo and you know the progress bar gets stuck in the middle, then um, this mode should help you fix that. Um, I'll show you what I did personally. So we are in macOS recovery, so we can remove the Command and R. Now I want my password. So I'll go next. And this is the password you set on your MacBook. So. We'll uh, set this. Boom. Okay. So the first thing we want to try is disk utility. So uh, click on this, continue. And what should help is you see right here your macOS HD and maybe you have a separate data drive, right? And also the macOS base system. So you want to go on the first one and then you want to find first aid. Click on that and then run that right and do it for all three if you have boot camp don't need to worry about that if you have uh, issues booting into boot camp then you should probably try that as well and then once you've done this just power off your device and then turn it back on now for me that didn't fix the issue but i'm showing it because if you have the apple logo and it's stuck halfway then that will probably fix the issue for you now if that doesn't fix the issue you're going to have to reinstall mac os now before you're like crap well that's going to make me lose all my data right i thought i would lose all my data but you saw earlier i didn't lose any data now if you have a boot loop because um all your data is corrupted while reinstalling mac OS will show all your files you won't be able to open them because the data is corrupted that is an issue with something you ran or whatever so um what i've learned is always make a time machine backup so if you have an external hard drive external ssd you can make these backups and um if you have it in a situation where you lose all your files you can run the time machine backup and then you're good to go so i did personally reinstall mac os it doesn't take that long it took me about 30 minutes because uh, it doesn't actually download the um the firmware so then we are all good to go if this doesn't work for you then something is wrong with your MacBook. Simply, you might have to take it into repair because reinstalling the operating system, the worst that can happen is you lose all of your data. But if the reinstall fails, that means that your hard drive potentially has failed. Maybe your SSD has failed. So you will have to take it into Apple for servicing. But that's just a quick video on how I fix personally the boot loop issue. For me, reinstall macOS did the trick, but I saw using disk utility does also do the trick as well. So I advise you try both. Try the disk utility first, then reinstall, and then you should be good to go. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.